working on my uh, Jupyter Hub cluster, and it's actually kind of fun. I encourage you to come on in and watch. This is see how these errors here I got. So this is Jupyter Hub. We've got it set up. I'm running an Minikube to test out some stuff for work that I'm deploying to our you know development environment. We're getting ready to demo it, and I didn't want to have all these ugly errors in my personally configured. Uh, uh, console and this is a long story um, you can click on terminal when you go when you, uh, when you this is Vim, this is you got to know Jupyter Hub right so Jupyter Hub Jupyter Hub just runs like a lightweight Jupyter Hub image there's like eight of them and none of them have a full version of Vim none of them have any editor they don't have ping or anything they but they I mean the only editor they have is Vim Tiny which is basically VI basically and uh, and I, I mean, I always knew that, but it's been a while since I tried to use my VimRC with the plain old thing. I usually have conditionals in there to detect, detect whether the plugin support is there or not. And it's those if statements in your VimRC can get, you know, verbose, but you need them there if you want a VimRC that's going to work everywhere. Like even worse, plain old VI, right? Um, that has an XRC and you can use the same file and copy to XRC or whatever. A lot of people will have a separate XRC and then they'll have a VimRC. But suffice it to say, if you're going to have a VimRC and you're going to use Vim, uh, everywhere, including Vim Tiny, which I want to do, then you need to get around these problems. So this is how I fired up the terminal. I click right here, and you get this really awesome thing, which is, uh, just to give you some sense of this, I actually, this is all getting saved in my uh, PVC, my, you know, inside of a thing. So I just went, I, this is a common thing to do. I went into my, went into my, 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 this is a repo. Right, I just pulled this public repo down from my container so I can just configure my container instantly. It's a really common method to do that. There's like three or four ways of customizing your thing really quickly. You can just copy the files over, but one of the fastest if you have access to get is just get clone the thing down and then run setup and then have kind of a universal setup script that's that just assimilates everything where it belongs. And after doing that, it, that was when pause. After doing that, after doing that, I I went to go just edit my bash rc file and I noticed all of these errors. And I was like, what is up? Uh, I wrote some, these are all functions that I wrote, wrote and stuff. My wife is so noisy. And, and, and then I, I did Perl tidy. Uh, I wrote this detect bash to, to just do something. So these are all things that I added relatively recently and I, I didn't catch. I was like, what the heck? It's, it's, you know, it's VI improve 8.1. Why is it giving me all these problems? So I did a little research. It actually took me about an hour, which is why I'm making this video because I want to save you time. And, and then I went in and I customized it. So now when I do the same thing, uh, I don't get any of those errors. I can just do, you know, bash or C here, and you can't see it, and it's really tiny. And it just opens up, right? So one of the biggest things that VimTiny doesn't support is syntax highlighting. There's a lot of things. It's pretty much just VI, as I said. So I went in and I added a bunch of things. And these are all now saved in my current VimRC adopt files. You can find that in any number of places. Um, but one of the one of the ways of, 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 of doing that, let me show you, is, and I'm just going to give you the, 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 the main thing. And this, this took a considerable amount of research to figure this hack out. Um, check for the eval feature, it's called. And you can do help feature list to get all the features that are enabled. And you can check for, if you if you want to know whether you have VimTiny or not, checking for eval is a very generic way to do it. Uh, you can also check for syntax highlighting, right? You can check, I did that actually below. Uh, there's another one here where I did if has syntax, right? That made sense in this particular case uh, because, you know, if I even have the feature compiled into the executable, if you don't, it'll throw an error. And and uh, so that's one way to do it. Um, the plugin options, I'll show you really quick. So you can detect if, we, this is a really cool option for detecting if you have plugin support by looking for the file. If you don't have the file, then just don't do any of the plugin stuff. That's really great because that, that makes a very complex, you know, multiple plugin VimRC usable anywhere uh, by adding that. That's another little, little, little key trick. But this video is primarily about the if eval because so, that took a long time to find for me. Um, uh, and so, you know, it, it skips over it. Uh, I personally decided to do, uh, to always add, um, no matter what line it is on, I've decided I didn't end it here. It didn't make sense. Um, I probably should, but I added this little comment, Vim tiny detection. I've, I'm put anytime I use if eval, I'm going to put that there because that's going to confuse the crap out of somebody who doesn't know better. They're going to say, why are you checking if it has eval? You're testing something else, right? Um, and so I put that little comment line there to kind of make sense for the random person who's reading through my VimRC uh, to know what's up, so they can they can know why it's doing that. But now, now when I when I open up my VimRC, I get no errors, and that's the end result. So hopefully that tip has helped you a little bit, and you can make those changes. Um, 
if you if you, you can always of course go see the history on my vmrc file my files if you want to see the exact lines that changed if you want some more details thanks a lot